Now, if you rent out your second home for more than 14 days a year, you're going to have to report all your rental income. However, you can deduct rental expenses. The tax rules are kind of complicated, so just be sure you check in with a certified public accountant. Okay, so now with all of this knowledge that you have just gained, you're ready now to start looking for that second home, right? Uh, maybe a vacation home, maybe a home you want to visit just to get away from all the stresses that life seems to throw at you all at once. So where do you start? That's the easy part. The team at the Parker Group at Linda Vista can walk you through each and every step. This is Dustin and Rachel Parker. This is Sean Hunt, branch manager with GMH Mortgage Services, who is also joining us today. Thank you guys so much for joining us. Thank Thanks you. for Thank having you. us. Okay, so we just learned a whole bunch about what we can do for a second home. Now, mm -hmm. we talked about the financial preparations. Is there anything else that we would want to consider before we start doing this? Yeah, I think the most important thing is to determine where you want to be. Do you mm -hmm. want to be at the beach? Do you want to be a little bit further from the congestion and traffic? Um, that's probably the first choice to make because in most cases we can find things in every price range regardless of how close you want to be unless it's that oceanfront property of course you're going to pay more for it. Right. Mm -hmm. And on the financial side you really want to think about what do you want to spend? You know, how much do you want to invest into that home? You know, as far as a down payment, you know, cost of living, mm -hmm. things like that for your family or just for yourself. So it's, it's going to be pretty important to figure out what you have mm -hmm. before you go into this yes. and take another. Yes, that's, is you definitely want to think about your budget and really what are your expenses? You know, how much can you afford? Obviously, by sitting down with your loan officer, we're going to talk to you about your, your debt to income ratios. You yep. know, two common myths with a second home are that I have to have 20% down. Well, typically some things have opened up now where you can buy a second home with as little as 10% down. Also, credit score parameters have opened up where it used to be a little bit more strict, now it's opened up to even a 620 credit score or above could qualify for a second home. Wow. So it's actually become a little bit more easier in the past couple years as things have opened up, program guidelines have expanded. So we're seeing a lot more conversation with mm -hmm. people looking to buy these second homes. But it comes down to have they thought about Personally, what, what are they comfortable with spending? Mm -hmm. Because the computer will tell us, you know, okay, you can qualify for this. <laughs> you can do But this. if you're not comfortable right. with it, you know, let's talk about the fees. Let's talk about, you know, what is a mortgage payment with interest rates slightly on the rise right now? Right. How mm -hmm. much is that going to cost you? Now, this is not a simple process. No. What kind of mistakes have you seen people make in, in trying to get this done? I think a lot of what we see is people go into it and don't really think about how they're going to live in the home. So a lot of times we'll have people that they've lived in a single family home their whole life as their primary residence and they think, oh, I'm going to want a condo. And then when they actually get into condo living, they might not actually like having a condo association that they pay dues to that has a lot of rules and regulations. Or on the flip side, we'll see people that think they want to have a big beach house, a big single family home, and the expense and the time mm -hmm. involved in maintaining that yourself can get to be a real burden, especially if you live far away. Right. So I think it's important to think about what is important to you in a vacation property. Do you want the low maintenance? Do you want freedom and responsibility to do what you want with that property? Um, so a lot of different factors come into play. And don't stretch yourself too thin. Mm -hmm. If you're comfortable with a budget, you know, keep within that budget. You know, obviously you might find that house that you love, but if the condo fees are a little bit too high yes. for what you're comfortable with, you know, maybe that's not the one. Right. But it's something, you know, with working together with your real estate agents, with mm -hmm. your loan officer, we can put that puzzle together and really get you in something that fits. Leave yourself a little breathing mm -hmm. room. That's okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So uh, what kind of amenities would you suggest for a second home? Mm -hmm. So I think it's an important question to ask and think about what do you like doing when you go on vacation? Because essentially this is going to be your vacation home um, in most cases. And so if you like to golf, then we can certainly find you something on the golf course or close mm -hmm. to one. Um, if you're someone who likes spending a lot of time on the beach, then proximity to the ocean is going to be important probably mm -hmm. to you. Um, the great thing about Sussex County and, and most of the Delaware and Maryland beaches is there's so much to do. Mm -hmm. and there's so many options. There's great food. There's, there's great um, entertainment. So much to do. And so you have to decide what's most important to you and we can kind of find you that location that's going to fit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, now a lot of people are going to think, oh, a second home. I can't afford a second home. It doesn't have to be a mansion, does it? Absolutely not. From a two bedroom condo to the beachfront multi-million dollar mansion, all of it is out there. And in every price range, you really can find a nice vacation property in Sussex County or really all of Delmarva. Now I'm guessing because I've got three professionals sitting right here with me this afternoon, you really don't want to try something like this on your own. Be sure you have a professional. Yes, yes don't do yes. it on your own. <laughs> yes. It's a big process, especially if you're not familiar with the area. Yes. And we can kind of be your tour guides and show you the different places that you might be interested in and the different fields of each beach town if that's what you're looking for. And mm -hmm. even just the different communities. I mean, mm -hmm. some communities are like resorts. They have so many amenities and other ones are more bare bones and lower HOA dues. So right. that alone. And you're going to know some things that there's no way in the world I'm going to know. Yes, <laughs> we're going to find some things out and, you know, give you advice on you know, what do those condo associations mean? What does your HOA cover? Mm -hmm. You know, even the home insurances that you possibly need. 
you know, what does that look like? Mm -hmm. Right. And we can look at those things. But even, you know, people, like you said, it doesn't have to be at the beach. You know, with a college here locally, we're seeing some people buy second homes here to be closer to their kids and their family here. Yeah. Okay. Now, I, here, here's where, uh -oh. I, you guys are going to hate this uh -oh. question. <laughs> you do what you do, and you do what you do very well. Mm. But I'm sure you've heard stories mm. of people who haven't contacted you to, to mm -hmm. help them. What kind of bad things can happen? If <sighs> there's, there's a lot of online shopping for things. You right. know, people look and educate online, mm. but there's a lot of localized information you know, when it mm. comes to certain things that you're looking for. You know, certain programs that may be available to you that are localized to this area in Maryland, mm. Delaware, Virginia, that might not be in Arizona or wherever. Okay. So it's something mm. where you know, talk to a local you know, advisor so that way we can inform you of those things. And, and from your perspective, I'll, I'll bet the same thing's happened, hasn't it? It is. There's so many different fees and structures that people don't necessarily understand that they're getting into mm -hmm. uh, when they're looking on their own. And so it's important to know the specific community or the condo association or the town and the rules and regulations that mm -hmm. they have so that you're not shocked when you show up to the settlement table with a bunch of extra fees that mm -hmm. you weren't expecting. Right. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> I mean, but it's possible. Absolutely. You can do it. It's very it possible. Is. Sean? Thank you Rachel, Dustin, thank, thank you, you so, much, so very much. We appreciate the time talking to us. Important stuff that you need to know.